Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna get started on the Mezco 112 Collective, Dr. Doom. So let's get it on. It's a lot to go over and full transparency. I let a friend hold my Fantastic Four set. I was expecting it back in time, not realizing that uh, it's the holiday season. So whatever, that's my fault, but yeah. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> so you won't be seeing him in this video, but yes, here we are with Doom and all his die cast love. This guy actually has a lot of nice hefty weight to him. And one of the coolest things about Dr. Doom, and it's hilarious, not only do I tie him to the Fantastic Four and like the greater Marvel Universe, I tie him in as one of the greatest characters to play with in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So I was fiending for this for two different reasons completely as a crossover fighting game character, as well as a Marvel villain. Now, one of the really cool things about this Doom that I enjoy is that I didn't realize that they were magnetized. So you can actually take off his tunic by like just lifting that up and over. But we'll get into that in a second. First thing I want to address is that the hood is wired and our cape is wired. So that means when you want to get really nice wired flowy poses, boom, look at that. It's there, it's good. And I know Doom seems like he has a very large head, but it turns out that's actually the front plate of his mask being very large. He does have an actually very normal head, but the mask is overtly large because Doom is Doom, right? All caps, right? One of the things I like is that you can actually see the eyes through the plate. So when you pop it on, you see, now it looks elongated, but you have that, you can see the eyes through. So it actually is perfect placement. It just looks really odd and out of place because now it seems like Doom has a big ass head, but that's not the case here. Now, what I wanna do real quick, cause I've never actually gotten a chance of taking it off. I wanna actually pull our hood up and take off our cape. And we can see how the tunic looks front and back. And now we can see that he is actually die cast all the way through. And I think that's dope, like really, really nice. You'll see where the magnet placements was, as you see, they set on there for a while. But yeah, we actually have our pieces here for later. We're gonna talk about that. But yeah, Doom, Doom itself is dope. And we have, like I said, we have our beautiful cape here. Beautiful green and wired. It's like Levertly a green. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. But yeah, so let's slide this through. Get back to our magnetization. So if you want to fix your cape and you feel like it's not in like a really good spot, you can actually just take it off and fix it. You can have it sit the way you would like. Pop our doom head back on. And now let's talk about our articulation. Now, because this is die cast, I was very worried about how this would be, but he's actually really, really sturdy. Our arms can hit the T-pose with no problem. They made room for that, right? We have a bicep swivel. We are double jointed, but there is a nice little groove of armor there that's gonna hinder you. But depending on how you fold it, you can get like an extra little bit of movement, right? You see, we have our bicep swivel. Comes around with no issue. So if you wanna turn them into a doom bot to do crazy stuff, that's fine. Our ab crunch though, will lack because of our die cast parts. Unfortunately, that's where we lack at. But turning side to side is no issue for it, for our doom. So at least you'll have that. Our legs can actually reach a pretty nice distance of a slightly above 90 degrees. We do get a double joint, but again, because of our armor parts, it just, it won't look the same. <clears throat> Going outward though, you actually get some decent movement. You will get thigh swivel, right? And you will get ankle rockers and a little bit of tilt. So you have to be careful there, but as far as getting in to cool poses, because Doom is Doom and Doom does not care, you, you know, you gotta figure out how you wanna pose him. Cause most of the time people show Doom kind of standing up. I'm thinking about Doom for Marvel vs. Capcom who did that overhead arcing kick and we are not the same. <laughs> like I'm looking for Doom for all the different reasons, but Doom seems like he can get into some really decent poses. Now, I did do a picture of Doom in his chair and he looks really good in it. And I'm gonna bring that chair out when I talk about accessories from our old Marvel Select Doom. And then we're gonna talk about that in our accessories. But yeah, as far as getting really nice poses and looking like an, a conqueror, I feel like this Doom does carry that nature and that look. And it'll look really good, as you can see here. Cause Doom is the master of sorcery, the master of science, and the master of all things. And then we also have lots of other cool parts. But in doing so, we have to get to our accessories. So let's do that. Is our skirt wide? No, it just lifts up very nicely. So yeah, they made room for that. They gave a lot of tolerance to that. Now, let us sit down, chat about our accessories, because it's a lot. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, 
as we talk about accessories, one of the things I said we would do is talk about him on our Marvel Select Doom Throne so we can see how he looks. Pre-posing him up, we want to make sure our cape looks really cool while we sit him in there, right? And I want to make sure his seat can fit flush as well as him. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our arms up a little so you can sit a little lower down. As you can see, the arms are lifting him up. But technically, he can sit flush, feet to the floor, arms out. Yeah. If you raise his arms up, he will sit up. But if you leave him like this, ro well, I'm trying to rotate the hands, but I got him a little too far back. There we go. He can actually sit flush in the throne and look really cool. Obviously, you'll get a little bit of crushness there, so we're going to tuck that in. <laughs> but yeah. Doom looks really good in the, in the Marvel Select Throne. It works. It, it really does. It looks good. So with that being said, we can sit him back there looking really cool as we talk about some of our accessories. Now, some of the things you'll get are awesome. And some of the things seem more simpler from like classic stories. So let's start with our magic hands. You'll get electric effects. And I don't know if because it's purple, I do believe it's magic lightning as opposed to regular lightning. These are attached to the hands, soft plastic, so you don't have anything to worry about. If they warp a little bit, heat them up. These are not die cast hands. I think they were smart to, to do that. Then you will get, I believe this is uh, the Book of Scython, right? With, filled with magic pages. No, this is not the Book of Scython, it can't be, because the Book of Scython would have been red. So this is just a book of magic spells. Have a little red bookmark here. We could just hold our page right and it does clip also if you want to hold your spell book they do have this so i believe you are going to be able to hold it yep you slide it in so it holds and you have magic parts so yeah Ooh, that is tight so please be careful because this is very tight i recommend heating it up you will also get an extra belt. So if you wanted to go classic Doom, you actually can still get the belt with holster. This actually comes apart here at the pieces here. So be careful. It untabs and then you can also slide a holster on it to slide through. So that means not on this one, it'll probably be on that one for the holster. Oh, it has a little Doom insignia. You untab it and you can actually add your pistol, which you saw me pick up by accident. Here's our little Doom pistol. And we all know Doom doesn't use the pistol anymore because Doom no longer leads the pistol, right? You'll also get effects for the said pistol too. Almost forgot about that. So you get an effect part for the pistol, a little magic blast, well, not magic, a little firing blast. And like I said, this is more so for the classic Doom, whereas modern Doom relies on other different things, you know, in case of that. And then we will also get separate faceplates. So you'll also get this faceplate, which I'm going to show off with the damage sculpt. So here we have our damage sculpt with the scar starting from the bottom left side of the chin across the upper face and comes down a little bit towards the face because Doom didn't like the way he was looking there. So we can actually apply these towards this. So if you want a more modern Doom sculpt, here you go. And then you'll, I believe one of them is from a Doom bot. This one might be the Doom bot one or at least the angry Doom face, but Doombot's supposed to be in the image of Doom, so who knows which version he wishes to take. So you'll definitely get opposite faceplates and things like that. And upon further inspection, I also noticed that mine sits a little bit higher, and I'm guessing that's for the tolerance of the mask coming underneath, underneath the jaw and lining up, as well as over the head to make the head look bigger. So they probably wanted to make some space tolerance for that. You will also get foot blast effects for the exhaust in case Doom doesn't rely on magic and like the power of his suit, because Doom is just basically Liverton and Iron Man with magic. So we have that, which those two always teaming up is always hilarious to me. You'll also get a hand blast effect part to go with a particular hand, which I'm going to get to the hands in a second. Then you'll also get exhaust hand ports, just like with Iron Man, right? And that is because you'll get a slew of hands. You'll also get these actual lightning hands. These are for particular Doom hands to slide into and look fantastic. And like I said before, you will get a slew of hands. So let's open them up and talk about the said hands. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You've got the pouch here in the top part. 
uh, pouch we talked about on our belt. So if you want to add that, we have here. Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. We have a magical doom hand. In case you want to use an, a repulsor blast, much like Iron Man. We have some open hands here. We're going to go with them in order. I'm really glad these are not made of die casts. This would have weighed it down even further. And it's soft plastic enough that way, if anything happens or they get warped, you have nothing to worry about. As seen in our instructions, when you'll get them, these are more open exhaust hands. Oh, wait a second. Oh, he only has it in one hand. Okay. So we have a little asymmetrical trick uh, booby track uh, hand here. So with these hands, you're actually meant that you can do this. Place these hands inside. You're supposed to have doom lightning. They fit in perfectly. Then you'll have doom the conqueror hands is what I'm gonna call these ones. Nope, so we do get our little exhaust on both hands. So mine just may have an issue. I may need to check on that. Did not know that. I'm going to have to check on that. Next up, and these are probably my favorite ones when you face off against Doctor Strange. Doom also knows magic. So you get actually magic hands as well. And I love the idea of Doom also using magic. I love that. And just in case you're wondering, yes, he does come with his own Doom circle, a magical effect. It's literally one of the Doom symbols. So I love this. Soft plastic as well, too. So hopefully no tearing. We have some item holding hands. And these are really cool because these are actually for the power siphon up, but you can actually use them to hold different things. Cause Doom can also hold the sword. Doom's been there, he's held the ebony blade, stop playing. Doom's about that life. Then we have our pistol holding hand, which you saw earlier, we saw a pistol. And then we have a pointing hand. Cause when Doom chooses you, you don't choose Doom. And that rounds up for our hands. Ooh. Now, one of the last cool things before we jump into other stuff is that we have the power siphoner. And I was saving this part for last because we have our backpack rockets, right? The backpack rockets are a little tricky for me, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm always scared I'm going to break stuff like this. I really am with our backpack rockets. And these also take the little exhaust effects you didn't want to do the rockets and that is when we saw these back here and as you know i am terrified of breaking stuff i really am so i am these are supposed to move but i'm terrified so i'm going to heat mines up a little bit first i'm not going to do it in video but these are for when doom wishes to fly but also you can take these off oh this is gonna be rough there we go see I'm always worried. I might lose thief. <laughs> With our power siphoner, right? And I should probably take off the cape for it, but I'm gonna leave it on. We actually, this lights up. So we have our little gauntlets here, which can power up and down. A little bit of wiggle left and right, but not as much as up and down, right? When you untap the bottom, Right, it's gonna be on and off switch. And finally, you don't have to screw it in. I already put the batteries in, as you can see there. I'm gonna, we're gonna just power that on. You can push down on the top, this little piece right here. Now power siphoner powers up. Beautiful. There will be a hollow, uh, what is it called? A hollow heads up display to tab in there. And I believe I put it in just a little wrong I'm gonna tab it in properly now. There we go. But again, there are tabs here to line up on the back of Doom, so that way when you put them on, let's actually try to just uh, wing it here. We're not gonna plug it into the hands, but we are gonna plug it into his back. See, that's why we don't wing it all the time. And these will line up to tab into our back of Doom. So he can siphon power, including from beings like the Beyonder, or Galactus and things like that. You can pull your cape down or pull it through and then Doom can still have it on. This is actually really fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Doom does not speak of them. So yeah, there you have it. Now, I am going to jump into size comparison. And unfortunately, I do not have my Mezco ones here, like I said, because I let a friend hold it and I didn't really think that one through. That's on me. But we are 
gonna talk about people and things and size comparison. So let's get to it. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're on to the size comparison. And shout out to Daylight, because I got a chance to shoot in the daylight and uh, it feels good, it feels good. I miss, uh, I miss collecting sun's rays. So <clears> the <throat> first thing I wanna do is, again, full transparency, if you skipped around in the video, I lent out my Mezco Fantastic Four. I do not have them to compare in this review, but I do have the Marvel Legends one. If you wanna compare the sizes, you can mix and match the two and see where you are. Also, I will do photos later down the line to post. But yeah, in the meantime, here we are with my custom Marvel Legends one with a CJ set. So here we are with our Marvel Legends Doom. He is a tad bit smaller, lighter greens. And again, it has an add-on suit from CJ. So. Now you know what you're getting into with that. Doom is a little bit smaller, but not crazy smaller. As you can see where the sculpting differences are in proportions, right? If you want, we have, oh, here we are with the Marvel Legends thing and the Marvel Legends uh, Mr. Fantastic. Now, if this thing is bigger and our Mezco one is smaller, that means our Mezco thing would be around the same height, which approximately leaves them at about six feet, right? But our Marvel Legends one is gonna be far bigger. Then we have our Marvel Legends Reed Richard, Reed Richards. <laughs> and as you can see, he is smaller than our Doom, but our Mezco one would be bigger. So that means he's in closer height with Doom, but his height is variable. So I'm okay with him uh, being a little smaller for the Legends as we can mix and match that. Now we can mix and match some other characters. One of them I wanna do is, and I think this is cool, is that if I wanna do Secret Wars, and we talk about the Hickman version, right? Here's Owen Reese. The molecule man and here is dr strange his trusted advisor so we can actually do those scenes from secret wars which is really really dope right that's actually something i really really like shout out to jonathan hickman for writing excellent stories man now because i feel like doom and iron man have such a wild history together i'm actually going to compare a few iron men so here you are with the mezco mark 42 model of iron man here's a marvel legends and what I call the Marvel vs. Capcom Iron Man, because it's exactly what he is to me. <laughs> or Marvel Superheroes Iron Man is what I should say. Or Marvel Cartoon. Wow, he, that ankle is strong. So here we are. And I feel like we're in a really good size with these three, right? Where the various armors can change our hide. We can know what we're getting into. So it's totally fine. And last but not least, we have a Mafex Iron Man. This one is a movie armor. Oh, wow, that's loud. <laughs> So let's actually replace one of these and put our Mofex armor. And our Mofex one is going to be a little smaller, right? So you can see here, tad bit smaller, but it could work. Next up, if we're gonna stay on the Marvel stuff, if you wanna do a Marvel superhero stuff or Marvel vs. Capcom, here we are with a Mofex Spider-Man. I don't mind him being much smaller than Doom because it's Spider-Man, so I'm here for it, right? But. Here is a Mezco Black Panther to compare to. It means, again, Doom being bigger as a guy to buy a hunk of armor, I'm totally fine with the height differences. But now you get to see how the scaling. Ooh, this one's a good one. Here we are with Mezco Thanos. Again, you can actually do them fighting each other or do a Secret War style thing, so have fun with that. Just for other funs and giggles, because Doom is also for Thor. Here's the Destroyer armor. Let's turn to say this is the Marvel Legends version of the Destroyer armor. Really like this. Then we have stuff like other lines. So here we are with Cosmic Legions Novo and Lean. So as you can see, the Cosmic Legions is a little bit bigger. Last but not least, we have SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. Because Kuga versus Doom seems completely irrelevant. I'll probably try to fit that in anyway. Right? So in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient. It's been a longer video. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Try to cover as many things as possible. Any like fillers, anything I couldn't fill in, you know, I'll try to later. But in the meantime, as always, thank you so much for everything. You've been wonderful. So as always, please be good. Do good. Oh, no, wait, wait wait one last thing one one very last thing because i didn't want to do this without saying goodbye so now i feel like i can do it
because as always please be good do good drink water guys later and guys just because i forgot added bonus we totally forgot to mention that our finger has the finger blast effect mine's a little warped from sitting in package but you can heat it up because it's soft plastic but yeah just boop finger blast Thank you.